What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're getting on the Duddy server. And if you like this type of content, please be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, turn that notification bell for every time I upload a video. I hope you guys stick around and enjoy. Well, everybody, it is now September 1st. It is, uh, I'm going to say 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I could be wrong. I haven't read military time in a while or 24 hour time. But we do have another field that's ready to go. Not much happened between August and September. We lost a little bit of money. That's just for property taxes and all that good stuff. But I think our next field, if we go up here and go up to the left, then our next field will be up there. But if you guys recognize what's coming up here in front of us, that is a whole nother series that I do with Damien, aka Midwest Ag. Be sure to go check him out. Go, go show him some love and support. And let me know what you guys think of the new intro. If you guys like me to keep doing that or if you would like me to see do something different. But we do have to get up here and check out field 52. There is sorghum, and it looks like it is ready to harvest. So we will probably end up harvesting the sorghum field today. And get that out of the way. Let's just jump out and take a look at it. Oh, the colors. Giants done such a great job on this. Because you can actually tell, like, the tops from the, like, the stock part. It looks really good. And I'm pretty sure we, it's either... I'm pretty sure it's peas that we have to harvest over here in this field. So what I'll do is I'll take this little dirt path up here, get over there to that field, and uh, bring you guys back in, and we'll take a look at that field as well. All right, so we're just pulling up to the field right here. I don't know which way to go. Left, right? Uh, we'll just go left. The heck with it. Hopefully there's not very many trees. Oh, perfect. Got this little path going here. And like I said, I'm pretty sure... I hope I just didn't... Oh no, okay, yeah, so this is peas, these are ready to harvest too, so we'll have to try to get a lease a harvester for that, or see if somebody in town has a harvester that they would let us borrow, or maybe we can even harvest it with our regular combine. What I'll do is I'll get back, I'll get back down to the farm, I'll do some research on that, because I've never done peas before, and if we have to lease a harvester, we will, if we don't, and we can just use our harvester, then we'll get a double harvest out of this episode, so... I'm going to get back down to the farm, get that research done, and I might call on Nate to see if he'll be willing to run some semis for us, because I know he does have a semi. I've seen him drive by with it earlier, and then I know there's another guy that just happened to move into town by the name of Jay. I haven't heard from him yet. I might see if he wants to run a little bit of grain cart, because I don't know if he has anything to do right now, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a hold of these guys and see if I can't harvest some peas with my regular harvester. All right, so we're just leaving. We're just pulling off from the farmyard here, and uh, I looked, and I'm going to have to lease a harvester to do them peas. But I did find out that Jay is at his farm, and Nate is actually at his farm. So I'm going to swing by Nate's first to see if he'd be willing to help with running some truck, possibly just run that sorghum to probably my bins, and then I'll take care of him from there, and then see if I can't get Jay to run grain cart for me. So I'm going to go to Nate's first, and then I'll see if Nate will, if Nate does say yeah, I'll see if he wants to ride with me to Jay's farm, see if we can't get Jay in on the, in on it with us, and see if he'll help me. So I'm going to get over here, and then we'll go straight over to Jay's, and hopefully by then we'll be harvesting some sorghum. Alright, so we just pulled up to Nate's farm here, I see his pickup, and all his stuff out here, man, this man's got, look at this, he got a planter, and everything, and he just moved into town, holy cow, he must have brought all this with him. Wait, is that a case header? That is a case header. This man must own a case. Oh, oh, there he is. What's up, man? Howdy. Howdy, howdy. So, are are you busy at all, by chance? I'm just waiting on materials for my house. Oh, my, okay. uh, my garage. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I got some sorghum and some peas that need to be harvested. And yeah. I was trying to get the sorghum off the field tonight, and then the peas I can worry about possibly tomorrow. I was wanting to know, since, since you have that fancy semi that I seen you drive by in earlier, I was wanting to know if you'd be willing to run truck for me and just take the sorghum from the field to, to my bins at the house, well, down at my farm. Yeah, I can do that. Alrighty, well, have you spoke to that new Jay guy yet by chance at all, or? I heard about him, I ain't seen him around, I ain't heard nothing. Well, do you want to take a ride? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, well, let's go, let's go see if we can't get him, because I'm going to see if he wants to run grain cart for me. So, you would take my truck or your truck? Uh, we're going to take my truck. Go ahead and leave yours there. I love how everybody in this town drives the same pickup around here. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a good pickup. Yeah, it's a classic if she'd start. All right, let's go. So 
don't mind the cameras everywhere you know especially in like some of my stuff I I have a YouTube channel and I like to you know to post my adventures and everything that I'm doing I just started a farm I'm actually right across the river over there if you can see a little hoop barn off to your left I'm over there now so I moved down here from a little town called uh, Ashton Corners and I heard about River Bend Springs heard there's some good like what's the word I'm looking for here some some good jobs and a, a lot of farmland around here and actually I'll take you to see my farm real fast if you just go over this bridge and you look off to the left there's my farm right there I bought it I picked it up for five hundred thousand dollars and they had more they have more buildings and they did equipment when I bought this place but let's get down here and talk to Jay real quick so uh I never did ask oh uh, where are you from to heat in Iowa to heat in Iowa well <laughs> Look on that map there and tell me which way we got to go to get to Jay's Jay's farm or field or whatever. Because... Uh, go, go straight. Oh, Take so that we're... road where that red dump truck looks. Oh, thing. don't don't you hit us. Okay. And then uh, take a left up here. Okay, so we're gonna take a left. We're gonna... Gonna... Yeah, we're gonna go down this little dirt path. All right. Or a lot road. of corn. Oh, yeah. Ain't much around anymore, but oh no, it's mainly all that new stuff: sugar beets and potatoes and parsnips and chili peppers and all kinds of other stuff. So you said go down this dirt road right here. Yep, take this right where the this, right here. No, next oh, one. Oh, up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Nope, you're good. Got it. All right, yep. Take this right. Oh, this is really wow. tight. He likes fence. He does like a lot of fence. Oh, that must be him right there. Oh, he just got oh. hit. Oh, man. If that was my tractor, I'd be mad. Oh, is he coming through here? Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going back up. I don't know which way he's going. I'd... He must be going right there. All right, well, let's get up here and talk to Jay real fast. What was that jump? Hey, buddy, how we doing? Hello, how is it going? It's going good. Name's Cole. This is this is Nate. Uh, nice to meet you. I am Jay. Oh, nice to meet you, Jay. So, before I ask, where where are you from? You look you look oddly familiar. I'm from Alma, Missouri. Oh ah, well, I've never been there. I came from Ashton Corners. So, any oh. anyways, and uh, Nate said he came from Tahiton. Are you, are you busy at all? Uh, no, not really. Just got done cultivating my field. All right, well, um, Nate over here has this nice semi truck. He's gonna haul some grain from from my field to my silo for me. I was wondering if you'd be willing to run a grain cart for me. Yeah, I can run just some grain cart for you. All right, well, sounds good. If you want to get your stuff put up, you got you, you can use my tractor, my grain cart. But I'm gonna get back down to my farm. If you need any help getting my farm, just uh, let me know, and I'll, I'll I'll give you directions down there. All right, sounds good. All right, appreciate it. All right, Nate, let's load up and let's get back. I got a harvester to get out. Okay. All right, now let's see if I can't get out of here. All right, so I just asked Jay if he'd be willing to help run some grain cart for us. I'm going to go ahead and get Nate back to his farm and where he can get his truck and his trailer, get all that ready to go. I'm going to get back to, our, to my farm, get the harvester out, get it hooked up to the bean head, and try to get this sorghum field knocked out. All right, so it looks like Jay and Nate both just pulled up. How we doing, fellas? It's going to be, hope, hopefully this harvest goes good and fast. We don't have any problems. Jay, if you want to go inside that uh, big building over there, there should be, I believe, a 7R. You can hook up to that and grab the the grain cart, which is over there in the little, well, it's around here somewhere. I know that. It's probably in that big that big green building over there behind you. If you want to grab onto that and go and hook up to the grain cart. And then I'll tell you, and we're going to, yeah, it's going to be the, here, Follow me. It should be in this building right here, if I remember correctly. Well, actually, our grain cart's in the little, the little awning shack over there. But if you want to hook up to that tractor right there, you can. That's parked. Right. And then we're going to field 52. So make sure you boys have your CBs on and your tra in the tractor and in uh, your uh, semi there, Nate. All right. All right. Let's let's get it going. All right. So we're about three to four hundred feet away from the field. I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a a call to see if they're on their CBs. Nate, you got me on the CB man? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, just making sure Jay, you have me on the CB? 
I got you on the CB. All righty, well, I'm going to open up this field and uh, get my harvester and all that stuff unfolded. And then once I get this field un opened up there, Jay, you can pull inside here and the net you can park on the dirt road if you need to. But I'm going to go and get this. So I'm going to get this sorghum knocked out of the way and see how, see how much we can get off of it. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that. All right, so we just got the sorghum harvest finished. Uh, I got to get up here, get this put away, and I am beat tired. I'm probably going to go stay at a motel up in up in town here. It looks like Nate and Jay both are still here. It looks like Jay got everything put up. I'm going to go and tell these guys thank you, and uh, I'll let them get back to their farm and let them do what they need to do because I know I am going to go to bed after I get this harvester washed up, get it all put away and everything like that. Well, boys, I appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you guys. I owe you guys one. Once I get a little bit more money in the bank, I'll throw you guys a, a, a little bit of money for helping. Or if you guys need help with anything, just let me know, and I'll, I'll be sure to come down and help you guys with whatever you need on your farm. Yeah, yeah I noticed that you have some peas on your farm, right? Uh, I do, yeah. I have two trailers if you need them. All right, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I definitely need to get them off the field. I'll probably just, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, so I probably won't even YouTube that because that may be catastrophic, and I don't know how that'll go around too well. So, but yeah, I just got, I just got a confirmation that my little boy will be in in like 30 minutes, so we can haul what you need. All right, yep, appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna get this stuff put up, and I'm gonna go up into town, grab me a bite to eat, and probably go stay at a motel room that I rented, so. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and strangle this guy. Alright, so you guys have fun. Appreciate it. Alright, everybody. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one.